Hi, my name is Andre Hunt. I'm the father of Torian and Tristine. I'm also the Silicon Valley NJB Deputy Sectional Director. We welcome you to the Hunt Memorial Classic. We'd like to thank you for attending the games today, whether it was one of the six girls varsity games at Evergreen Valley High School, or whether it's the contest this evening between the boys varsity teams from Valley Christian High and from Evergreen High. We really appreciate your support. We would uh, like to thank Joe Tay, the Evergreen Valley uh, boys varsity coach, Marcus Martinez, the Valley Christian uh, boys varsity coach, Drew Snellgrove, the Valley Christian girls varsity coach. A special thanks to Dan Johnson, the Evergreen Valley girls varsity coach, and to Eric Scherenberg, the Valley Christian athletic director, as well as Mel Robertson, the Silicon Valley uh, National Junior Basketball Sectional Director. Uh, this event would not be possible uh, without them. We'd also like to thank the administrations of uh, Valley Christian High School and Evergreen High School for allowing us to use their facilities to host this event. In addition, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, JP Graphics, Ropes and Homes, and On Athletics. Uh, it, they've been very uh, important to making sure that uh, this event is successful and without them uh, we would not be able to have accomplished our goals. A South Bay High School is dealing with the deaths of two of its standouts. One, a straight-A student. The other, a star athlete. But these two shared more than just a spotlight around campus. They were brother and sister, whose relationship friends describe as simply sweet. Fellow students said goodbye to basketball standout Torian Hunt last month when he graduated from Evergreen Valley High, knowing they'd see him down the road. But they're having to say goodbye to him again, this time knowing there won't be a down the road. You know, it was shock. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't. Torian's little sister, Tristine, was a straight-A student who was expected to continue her academic tear in her upcoming junior year. But she won't get a chance to shine in the classroom again. The Hunt siblings died after a car accident over the 4th of July weekend. Just last month, the Hunt siblings were running around this campus as students. Him with his basketball, her with her big backpack. But today, friends and faculty here are remembering him for more than his athletic ability, her for more than academics. He was nice. He had no enemies. You know, friendly. He was a nice person to talk to, always there when you needed him. You know. I was working hard. She wasn't one of those kids that was boisterous and into everything, but she was just sweet and polite and you know, a little ray of sunshine. Individually, they accomplished plenty. Together, friends say, they were something else. Yeah, she used to wait for him after school, and he used to wait for her. You know, I'm like, what are you doing? I went for my sister, you know, we got to walk home together. I'm like, oh, man, well, that's, that's real good, you know. He taught me a lot. Those who knew them are saddened and disappointed that the Hunt siblings won't be able to reach their full potentials after both got off to a great start. They were amazing. Um, and, you know, being able to spend time with them at all was a gift. And the Hunt siblings were in New Mexico with their parents when the accident happened. They were there to look at potential colleges for Torian. Their parents were also injured in that accident and are recovering in San Jose. Funeral services for the siblings will be this weekend at the high school gym. You know, the theme of this year's Hunt Memorial Classic is building community through sports. The Apostle Paul teaches us in Philippians that we should look to the interest of others as well as to our own. And I believe that that scripture really speaks to the legacy of Torian and Tristine. There were two kids who were really interested in helping others in the community meet their needs. You know, sports is a, a portal through which uh, people of different uh, ethnic, cultural, economic, and racial backgrounds can come together and learn to push aside the differences and cling to those things that make us the same. And we are put together this classic as a way of kind of honoring their commitment to working for the needs of others. You know, we are hopeful that as we go throughout the years that this tournament will continue to grow and it will continue to allow us to continue to honor their legacy. 
my wife and I are really appreciative of all the efforts and energy that has been put into putting this classic together. And so we ask uh, during this joyous season that you will pray for peace. And we say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We're really excited about tonight and coming into partnership with our friends over at Evergreen Valley and being a part of the first annual Hunt Memorial Classic. I think the goal or the vision of uh, efforts like tonight really fall in line with exactly what we try to do as a basketball program. We try to build community through sport as well as help uh, our local youth. Um, our team verse this year in Philippians, it reminds us to be humble, to think of others, and to seek an attitude like Christ, Christ Jesus. And I think this is exactly um, falls in line with what we're doing. Um, the other activities we do throughout the year, whether it's youth camps, Little Warrior Nation, or international missions trip with our Warriors Without Borders, um, really does follow what, what, it's, what it reminds us to do in Philippians, so we're proud to be a part of it. Um, Mr. Hunt has been a pleasure to work with and seeing his passion um, kind of come to fruition with extending the legacy of his children as well as making an impact in our local community has been an awesome experience. So we're really excited about tonight um, and thank you again for our support uh, in the Hunt Memorial Classic. I'm Dan Johnson, the girls basketball coach at Evergreen Valley High School and we're extremely excited to be partaking in the um, Hunt Memorial one day shootout today. We're actually hosting 12 teams, well 11 plus us, and we are really excited to be able to help give back to the Hunt Foundation. They've been extremely generous with athletic scholarships to Evergreen Valley High School students. And for us to get a chance to do a little bit of fundraising, to give back to that scholarship fund after all these years, um, is something that we're really looking forward to doing. We're also looking forward to a great day of basketball. We're bringing in teams from all over the South Bay, from up from Palo Alto, Los Altos, down to San Jose, Campbell, um, West San Jose, and East San Jose. So it should be a fun, exciting day of basketball. Um, get these girls over here playing hard basketball and getting better as they get ready for their league season and a chance for us to give back to the Hunt Memorial Scholarship Foundation. On behalf of Valley Christian High School, uh, I just wanted to uh, say how much we appreciate uh, the time that all of you are spending with us today, especially our friends at, at Evergreen Valley High School. This is uh, really uh, the conclusion of something Andre and I have been talking about for, uh, for several years now. And not really even the conclusion, but it's really the beginning. This is the first step to, uh, to what we believe will be uh, a growing tournament and just a growing partnership between Evergreen Valley High School and Valley Christian Schools as, uh, as we just seek to, uh, to really uh, Compliment the great things going on uh, through the Hunt Family Memorial Scholarship and uh, and the great things going on in NJB basketball in our community. So we hope you enjoy the game today and uh, and look forward to seeing you here in future years at Valley Christian.